Ten years ago, the Emerald Coast Utility Authority knew it needed to do something about the Main Street Wastewater Treatment Plant in downtown Pensacola, Florida. Developed in the 1940s, the plant site was limited, had an antiquated treatment process, and struggled with odor problems. In 2003, the Emerald Coast Utilities Authority commissioned a study for relocation of the plant. Um, subsequently, the following year, two, September of 2004, Hurricane Ivan hit. It was a, a major uh, Category 2, marginal Category 3 uh, storm that came in and created a lot of damage. Uh, it flooded the Main Street uh, wastewater treatment plant and, in fact, knocked the plant out of operation for three days. Uh, there was a lot of raw sewage that was uh, spilled as a result of that and a lot of uh, flooding uh, of the facilities. Um, so that kind of expedited the urgency of relocating the plant. We knew that we needed a, a advanced wastewater treatment process that could meet stringent limits. There were a number of criteria that were used to evaluate the various wastewater treatment plant processes. Uh, the ease of operation, uh, the ease of maintenance, reliability, proven performance, um, operation cost, capital cost, the amount of labor uh, that was required to run that particular plant, the type of residuals uh, that were produced. And ultimately going through that selection process, we ended up selecting West Tech. Part of the decision to recommend uh, West Tech as the provider of uh, the aeration and mixing equipment was because of the relationship and the trust that uh, we had having worked with them before on many projects. They came in and they um, worked diligently to understand our design parameters, um, the operational challenges that we may face. The effluent requirements that were necessary to be met led us toward a biological treatment system because it's, historically they are uh, the most cost effective, produce the less residuals, have less impact on the environment than other types of processes. If you're a wastewater guy, you gotta love the five-stage process. The general concept of a stage biological system is to control the environment, the amount of food that the organisms experience so that we can encourage various types or classes of organisms to grow or to turn intracellular reactions on and off. Our nutrient limits are very stringent. Our limits are 3 milligrams per liter total nitrogen and 0 0.4 milligrams per liter total phosphorus. BOD can be reduced down to in the 1 to 2 milligram per liter range, which is the level or the limit of detection. Nitrogen compounds, uh, total nitrogen can be reduced to less than 2 milligrams per liter in the case of the CWRF we are approaching one milligram per liter total nitrogen residual. And as far as phosphorus, biologically, uh, we can achieve around 0.5 milligrams per liter. And at the CWRF, they add a small amount of alum to polish to below their permit limits of 0.4 milligrams per liter. One of the significant things that set West Tech apart from other biological processes that we evaluated was its simplicity to operate. Um, it's a mechanical surface aerator system. Um, it's a simple PLC control. It's tied into either ORP or DO probes that match the aerator horsepower with the oxygen requirements. We basically have a DO set point. We vary that occasionally depending on nutrient results, but uh, for the most part, we set the uh, DO and uh, we vary our alum just a little bit, uh, depending on results there as well, but for the most part, uh, we, the plant runs itself. It's all fully automated, and for the most part, all of our process control variables and all our motor variables are tracked. We can look back in history and see what, how many amps a motor's been pulling, the speed it's been running, and whether it's been on, off. Uh, all that data we track and that's been very helpful in uh, running this plan. The CWRF project was unique in that it was going to be a 100% reuse application. 
That is, there was no, going to be no surface water discharge. Uh, the plant averages between 13 and 15 million gallons a day of treated effluent, and that is provided to Gulf Power, who uses between 7 and 10 million gallons a day for cooling purposes and in their scrubber, as well as providing approximately 6 million gallons a day to International Paper, who utilizes it for paper making. Our effluent requirements are very stringent, and they are Effluent partners also have those same effluent uh, requirements in their permits. If we violate our permits, we would be facing violations from the state FDEP and we wouldn't, we could be in a position where they would refuse our water and we wouldn't have anywhere to go with it. In the past two years since the plan has started up, um, they've consistently been able to meet their stringent AWT limits. By any form of measurement, it's been a successful project and West Tech has continued to stand by the customer and the engineer to uh, provide their support. West Tech as a company doesn't just manufacture equipment. We try to provide solutions. It is very important to know that when a problem comes up or something occurs that is not anticipated, that you have a reputable uh, manufacturer and vendor that is going to stand behind the equipment. And that's what we felt like we had with West Tech. Support doesn't stop with the sale. Two years after the CWRF project has gone into operation, we at West Tech are committed to its successful operation. The replacement of the wastewater treatment plant in Pensacola has been significant to the community. We've taken an antiquated treatment plant that had odors and other issues, um, periodic flooding, We've relocated it 20 miles inland. Um, it's opened up opportunities for economic development. Um, it's changed the face of downtown Pensacola. This facility is extremely important to uh, Escambia County, uh, to the uh, rivers, bays uh, that we have in this sensitive ecological part of Northwest Florida. The ability to take 15 million gallons a day uh, out of surface water discharge and be able to provide a treatment plant with AWT levels that is 100% reused is something that has a very tangible benefit to uh, the receiving waters in Northwest Florida. After an eight-year process of initiating the planning, the funding, the permitting, going through the design, the startup, and then the plant being operational for almost two years, I can say that we made the right decision going with West Tech.